Making a bad movie is one thing, but making a movie so bad it becomes a cultural phenomenon? Well, that's another. That's exactly what actor, director, and all-around man of mystery Tommy Wiseau did with his cult classic, The Room, the Citizen Kane of bad movies. But who is Tommy Wiseau, and how did he become the man behind one of modern cinema's favorite movements? As if a character from a mystery novel, most of Tommy Wiseau's origin is unknown. In some interviews, Wiseau talks of childhood in France, while in others, he claims he spent his childhood in New Orleans. You know, people ask me, where do you come from, right? Mm -hmm. So, which country I pick? Well, you know, I pick New Orleans. But according to The Room co-star Greg Sestero, Wiseau's U.S. immigration papers show he was born in an Eastern Bloc country in the 50s. I'm originally from Europe, but I'm right now American. Whoa. Like everybody else. <laughs> he, no, he, he, has never said, no, he has never said this before. <laughs> Wiseau moved to San Francisco and worked near Fisherman's Wharf as a vendor selling bird toys to tourists. His nickname as the Birdman stuck, leading him to change his name to Thomas Pierre Wiseau, borrowing from the French word Wiseau, meaning bird. Chip, 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 chip. Though it's uncertain exactly how Wiseau became independently wealthy, it's likely from a business he founded called Street Fashions USA that sold defected jeans at cheap prices. Another theory which many people involved in the making of the room believe is that Wiseau was part of a money laundering operation for organized crime. So who knows? After a near fatal car crash, Wiseau reached a turning point and decided to pursue his lifelong dream of becoming a movie star. It's at this time that Wiseau began producing The Room, which was based on a 500-page, unpublished novel written by Wiseau. Wiseau made the film with a $6 million budget, which is outstanding considering the source of financing is largely unknown, and also that the film looks as bad as it does, despite having a budget larger than those of American Graffiti, Taxi Driver, The First Rocky, and Saw combined. The Room was universally panned by critics and grossed $1,800 at the box office. But slowly over time, the film became a cult classic as theaters around the world hosted late night showings. The movie is spectacular in that it honestly fails at pretty much any metric you could use to rate a film, but results is an unintentional comedy. Actor-director James Franco released a biographical dramedy about Wiseau titled The Disaster Artist based on Greg Sestero's book of the same name. The film received widespread acclaim. As New York Magazine states, the film is pure genius, a tribute to those who dream so big and fail so spectacularly they actually triumph. If you want to learn how to throw a really, really cool room viewing party, then we got a video for that. Also, extra points for any person who can guess our favorite quote from the room in the comments below.